welcome back to my channel. I apologise for the slightly clickbaity title, but I went to Boots the other day and I finally spent pretty much all of my Advantage card points. If you're not from the UK or if you don't know, Boots is like our biggest drugstore here and they have a loyalty card and I feel like it's one of the best loyalty cards in the UK, like out of all the supermarkets and the drugstores and everything, I just feel like you always get so many points, so many discounts and like offers and things that they throw at you. And it is definitely one of the better ones. I actually don't often shop in boots anymore. Um, I used to, I guess, um, years ago. And for some reason, I've had my boots loyalty card ever since I probably turned 18 or 16 or whatever it is. And I remember one of my aunts saying to me, always save your points, don't spend them. And then when you get to like a hundred pound or whatever it is, like when you get to like loads of points, you can splash out on a really nice perfume. So I, I remember doing that when I was, I don't know, around about the age of 18, 19, 20, whatever it is. And I always used to try and save my points until I get to £100 and then splash out on a big bottle of Chanel Chance perfume. That is my favourite perfume of all time, but nowadays you can buy it online cheaper. Um, I travel quite a lot, so you know, I pick it up in duty free and I actually don't even wear that perfume that much anymore. Every time I do it brings back loads of memories, but um, I have quite a few different fragrances. So I've been saving my Boots Advantage card points for as long as I can remember. I definitely haven't used any points since I graduated. So yeah, it's definitely been at least 12 years that I haven't used any points and I've accumulated quite a lot. I did this in a few different transactions. So I'd accumulated about £135 worth of points, which is ridiculous. That is basically 135,000 points, I think. And the other day I was like, what am I saving these for? There was a couple of bits of makeup that I've wanted to repurpose for a long time, Fenty Beauty. And when I saw that they were coming to Boots on Twitter, I got so excited. I was like, finally, I can use my points on something that I actually want because you guys know me, I don't really buy a lot of drugstore makeup and there's not really much that I shop for in Boots because in terms of like their toiletries and things, I just pick them up in the supermarket because they're just a lot more affordable. So I went to Boots, a big boot store that had a Fenty Beauty counter. And the first thing I repurchased was the foundation. I wear this in the shade 310. I didn't get matched up or anything again because I knew my shade, I've got it written down and I literally finished mine about a few months ago and I was due like a repurchase. So this is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with this bottle, but it's the um, Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And I really, really like this. So I don't really tend to have foundations that I wear like seasonally. I just wear them as and when I just want to. I go through my collection and just whatever takes my fancy that day, I'll just pick it up and wear it. So this is the first thing I purchased and this cost me 27 pounds, so 2,700 points which was great so I didn't pay for it. The actual thing I really went in there for was the concealer and you guys know my struggle with concealer. If you've been watching like my channel for a long time, you guys will know that it is literally the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer is like my ultimate shade and not very many brands do it. I have since found other brands but they're quite hard to get hold of or I've picked it up in the US or just in random places. I just always want to try a new concealer if I can find my right shade because for me it's not so much the formula that I really take into consideration unless it's like terrible and obviously just doesn't work for me the shade is the most important thing so I purposely left with one of my NARS radiant creamy concealers and I just swatched it on the back of my hand and got her to match it up because I didn't want to take off my makeup actually one thing I will say about boots is it was great for like the repurchase and stuff like that but I feel like if you're new to Fenty Beauty, I would definitely go to Harvey Nicks. Even if it's just to get shade matched and you want to use your points and buy it in boots because I just feel like, I don't know if it was the store that I went to, so don't get me wrong. They're not really trained in Fenty Beauty. They're just normal sales assistants in boots. And when I asked her to like test some bronzers out, that's another thing I purchased. She like put this awful bronzer on me and it was just far too dark, probably like three shades too dark for me. And she did like a big stripe and she was like, yeah, it looks great. And I was like, and even Jas, who was with me, who obviously was just like, whatever, I don't really care, it's makeup. He was like, what is that? And like, it was just so bad. I just don't think they're properly trained. I don't, I don't really trust them. I think they're just sales assistants. They work in boots, you know? So I wanted to just 
didn't want her to like take my makeup off um i literally just this is kind of running out i literally just swatched this on the back of my hand and then tried loads of other concealers around it and so obviously she was kind of helping me because you know people pick concealers and stuff up and they don't put them back in the right place so you think you're like getting them in shade order and you're not because they're all over the place so she did help me and i ended up with the pro filter instant retouch concealer in the shade 350 i haven't tried this on yet so i don't know if it's a perfect match but it looks like it's a good enough match on the back of my hand i think i think i don't know if i said but i wear the nars one in the shade caramel and that's why it's quite hard to find because it has a really strong orange undertone whereas most concealers are either yellow or pink and that does nothing for me this one i think is quite orange so it was quite good in fact, this one's more orange, so potentially I might be able to wear it without a corrector. But this is the Fenty one on the my left, it's probably your right, I don't know. And this is the NARS one, so this was the closest. I just thought, you know what, now's the best time to buy it because i'm not really paying for it i'm kind of using my points and this one cost me 19 pounds so 1900 points which is quite a lot i don't know how i've accumulated so many points i know that jas doesn't really have his own advantage card and so when he was at his old work there was a boots nearby and boots always used to do like really good meal deals and stuff for lunch and so he'd always just take my advantage card and just buy his lunch um, and so i guess i've just racked up quite a few points over the years so yeah these are the two bits i picked up from fenty like i said i did want to try one of their bronzers but i don't know if it was the lady or if it was the bronzers eventually she did try like all of them on she kept rubbing my makeup off but i just didn't find that they were quite like the right shade for me they were either too pale too dark too orange too like shimmery and i just i wasn't keen so then i thought i'd try a two-faced one my current bronzer that i'm wearing at the moment or i use currently is the nars laguna or casino the dark i think it's casino the darker one and that is perfect i absolutely love it i've hit pan on it but i thought i'd try something a little bit cheaper and just to try a different brand and i've always wanted to try the two face bronzers so the one that she sort of shade matched me to she really wanted me to try the new one actually and there's a new one that's very shimmery but it's also very dark and again she just kept giving me stripes on my face and i was like why are you not blending properly i just didn't really understand it was very weird but this looked the nicest and it's just there it's just their chocolate soleil milk chocolate it's not the oh it's the middle one so there's milk chocolate and there's dark chocolate this is the middle one i think i don't really know but this is what it looks like it smells incredible i've already sniffed it this was again 25 pounds so 2500 points it's hard to open actually and i feel like i'm gonna break a nail oh it smells incredible this is what it looks like but it's a matte one, which is exactly what I wanted. And I really, really like this on my skin. So I'm very excited to start using this once I finish my NARS one, because I do love that. And those were kind of the three main bits that I picked up, because obviously they're quite expensive. It's high-end stuff. And the last thing I picked up was just these um, hair clips. I don't know why, but I've been obsessed with these hair clips for years. Just because they're, like, not the big, like, clampy ones. They're, like, quite discreet almost. I hate wearing my hair up when i leave the house like my hair is always down but i get really hot and flustered and because i have so much hair like at the moment i've had it cut recently but because i have so much hair i just always want to clip this bit back so it's away from my face and these clips are just perfect for that and then when i get indoors like from being outside i hate my hair down my hair has to be up when i'm at home because it just gets in my way it makes me really hot i just tie it up into some sort of messy bun and just clip it with one of these and i just i love these hair clips i don't know why i always repurchase them they're literally like what two pounds two pound fifty it's like 250 points but you get two of them they last me forever and i always just like kind of clip one of these onto the strap of my handbag when i'm out and about just in case I need like I, I need something to help me tie my hair up because otherwise I don't know what I would do um, and because my hair's so thick I can't be like a normal person and have a thin hairband around my wrist because that would just snap and get lost in my hair <laughs> so yeah I just repurchased this in black and that was it so I literally I used 7,000 350 points I paid on two separate receipts and I've lost one so 7,000 350 points so 73 pounds 
and 50 pence which is quite a lot of money and i got these four products out of it which is great i still actually have 58 pound 41 left so i've got quite a few advantage card points i didn't want to just spend all of them for the sake of it obviously but yeah that is my little haul from Boots. I wasn't sure if it was like enough to really warrant a video on its own. I just wanted to say that if you haven't got a Boots Advantage card, regardless of if you like hardly ever shop in there, because I barely do, definitely get one because I tend to have loyalty cards for pretty much every shop apart from Superdrug because this I just think is doesn't do anything and this is definitely one of the best advantage cards i think in the uk you always get points they always send you vouchers for like double points triple points and like you get like i think there's an app and they do stuff i don't really know because i don't really like i said i hardly shop in there these days but yeah definitely get yourself one of these cards because they're great let me know actually what you guys spend your advantage card points on because i'm really curious i think i'm more of a saver than a spender the other day i was looking at my nectar card for sainsbury's and i've got 70 pound worth of points on there too and i don't think i've ever used them there was one time i had to pop in to buy a bottle of wine for somebody and i forgot my card at home so i had to use my points but apart from that 70 pound worth is probably a weekly shop in Sainsbury's. A 70 pound shop in Sainsbury's is probably the equivalent of 50 quid in like a normal supermarket. So yeah, that's pretty good going. Let me know, do you guys like spend your points as soon as you get them? Do you guys save them up? If you save them up, what do you save them up for? Um, I wanna know, so tell me everything in the comments below. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this haul. So yeah, if you guys want a review on any of these products, then just give me a shout in the comments below. But aside from that, thank you for watching and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye.